everyone welcome to go fish with dustin and morgan and today we're having a little bit of fun with mr tom rosenbauer check him out It will know we see it. got a high out of so I don't know. It's a mouth. It's a male. How do you, do they think that? No, we don't think that. But a lot of times I notice that all the stock rounds have a higher dorsal. Oh, okay. A higher, uh, Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think he's a wild one. I didn't think he was quite right. Yeah. Take that. You can tell though. What do you think? Here he goes. Yep. Beautiful. Huh? Wild. Yeah. Right. Tell me how you tell. He looks yeah, so I would have thought he was wild. Yeah, but. he looks wild. He's got white tip. He's got, he got, white tips are not as good. He might be a stalker. He's got uh -huh. a big dorsal there. He's been in there for he's a while. He's been in there for a while. Yeah, yeah I think his barbers already come out. So we can do it if you want to. You'll let him go. Or? Let him go. Yep. Yeah. But that the eat was cool part. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what it's all about, right? That's what it's all about. Can I get the good? Ate the meal. When fly fishing celebrity Tom Rosenbauer invited Dustin onto the Orvis Fly Fishing Podcast, we learned that Mr. Rosenbauer would be attending book signings in Charlotte, North Carolina, and then over to the Orvis stores in Asheville. So naturally, we extended an invitation of our own for him to come up to the mountains for a day of relaxation and fishing. That dog is a sweet boy, and this boy here, yeah. he's just a fool of it. Oh, you are. You're a good boy. I've got him on a diet, though. I'm trying to lose some weight on him. She We're hiking him about every day. Thing. It was a little uh, bowl, and it had like a little puzzles in it where they have to slow the dog down. It's lifted so they can't just... Oh yeah, I've seen those. Yeah. yeah. Well, he eats like a duck. Yeah. Three bites and it's gone. Yeah. There's no chewing. It's just inhale. Maybe yeah. a cough session. Yeah, but... And then they throw it up. Yeah. You got my fly on there, huh? No. Is that yours? Oh, yeah. Looks like one of... Oh, you got more legs on yours. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. That's a giant ant. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's I see what right you're there, doing. Yeah. Oh, that little soft jackal, yeah. The soul food with that. Yeah, got fun. You will. <laughs> Good. Drake, stay with me, buddy. Good boy, let up. Fishing with Tom Rosenbauer. I knew this day would be different. The anticipation and insecurity of how different had caused a tying marathon the night before. My first real insight to how my day would go was answered quite abruptly and, and literally in the first minute of conversation with Tom. In that first minute, I called him sir twice. And twice with the quickness of an unexpected trout strike, I was brought to the knowledge his name was Tom.
good fight. Still, that was a good fight, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They eat what we cared about. That's right. And that's what yeah. we got. And you played the game. It was beautiful. Yeah. Very well done. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Pretty hard. Uh, pretty hard not to do well in here. Oh yeah. Well, all, it's all these fish are a great guy. Tom didn't fish my flies. Tom didn't allow me to tie on his bugs or fix the occasional conflict of angle. Tom did, for the day, allow me to be his fishing partner. And fish we did. game was on now. ADHD. While a menace in the city, in the wild it's my superpower. <laughs> Got dog buddy. Yeah, it's very good. But we fished all day. We didn't stop. Tom didn't take a break. Tom fished from the start to the end. No lunch. Tom's focus for the day was to play the course. And we played the course. What an absolute honor it was to spend a day fishing with Mr. Rosenbauer. We certainly look forward to doing it again.